James Kaufman, World News Report today, December 30th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we just had the second large X flare in less than 24 hours, but really there were two X flares from two different sunspots. You might be able to see that here, but we'll look at a much better diagram of the event. We had a sympathetic flare, i.e. the second X flare came from a completely different sunspot group or I would be more apt to think it was a single flare. Okay, this occurred at right around 5 UTC time. We'll get some exact times right now. All right, first off, we've had incredible amounts of activity over the last 40 hours. Our sun has been off the hook with several sunspots acting up big time. We saw 3936, which is now all of a sudden a simple sunspot again, but just expelled an X 1.5 solar flare. Well, it was a Delta class sunspot all day long and was big and bad to deal with M flare after M flare. And that uh, is also the sunspot group that expelled the X 1.1. Well, most recently here, just a few moments ago, it's like the peak was 414 UTC time. It's going to be 1114 Central here in the U.S. So about 30 minutes ago and then 430 UTC time. We see another simple sunspot group, not complex in any way, pop off an X1.1, almost a sympathetic solar flare, sympathetic X class solar flares take a look at where 3932 and 3936 are on our solar disk we can see the x 1.5 is really an x 1.59 so closer to an x 1.6 currently we have a 30 percent chance of having an x class solar flare 80 percent chance of having an m flare it's probably the highest i've ever seen and we have, of course, been running a M baseline basically for the first time ever. So, well, you know what's up. All right. AIA, SDO, HMI are still down because we have one server in the basement in Stanford and no backups. Strange stuff. All right. First off, 3936. It's going to be right there, very complex and large. And 3932 is also now beta gamma. It expelled the second X flare, the X, I believe, 1.1 again, with 11 total sunspots uh, on the Earth facing side of the solar disk, two of them being complex. And a few of them being fairly complex and orange here. All right, over to go. Solar ultraviolet imager. Obviously, that's the big flare. And there's a follow-up just below it, as you saw right there. That little bitty thing's an X1.1. It's an X1.6 solar flare. Looks like a chrome mass ejection was released. Very well could miss Earth. We do have a coral hole coming into view here or becoming Earth facing. And this line looks so weird to me here. It's just so perfect. Now tell me what you guys think about that. Look at that. That's that X 1.59. Sympathetic 1.1 right there. That's 3632 versus 3639 in the northern hemisphere i was going to go ahead and bring you guys into it so you can see the x 1.59 the x 1.1 here Let's see if it reads five four five nine right there no mistaking it two separate sunspots shot out 
two brand new X flares. That's pretty wicked. Over to our D region absorption prediction center. Guys, we're running an M baseline just about, so everyone's getting plenty of radiation. There's the 1.59 right there, right over Australia and Indonesia. And it happens quickly. And there's the next flare right there. Almost over the exact same spot. Good good day if you're in Australia. I wonder if you felt that. That said, God bless. Share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.